Hello viewers. Alright, this is a contraption that's been piquing some curiosity recently. And that would be the blue blower heater attachment for the blue blower fan. Now, the blue blower fan is a, a product that I quite like. <clears throat> and it's very powerful. And it works very well. Very sturdy, good design to it. This heater, however, I have much less to say about this heater. I have a number of portable heaters of this type. And... This is by far my least favorite, and it's just, it doesn't seem very efficient. The um, the heater core is really thick and doesn't let a lot of air through, and it's just not a very good, uh, well-designed product. So, but that aside, there is a particular flaw of this unit that I want to underscore in this film, and that is the fact that this heater seems to draw more power than the fan provides, in terms of the outlets because I've had on numerous occasions the outlet circuit breaker right there give out after a reasonable amount of time of operating the heater. Now the heaters, uh, or the, the receptacles rather, as indicated by this unfortunately only in Spanish uh, notice here, is that the total load of the receptacles cannot be more than 9 amps and it's thermally protected. So, that combined with the uh, fan motor being 2.3 amps puts a total of 11.3 amps going through this cord. Uh, let's see what gauge the cord is. That's quite a bit. Um, I'm not seeing where the uh, gauge is. Okay, the cord is 14.3, so that's that's, you know, adequate for... 11 something amps um, but you know the heater doesn't seem to have a, uh, a power oh yeah it does have a power rating okay so right then and there take a look at that 11.7 amps draw now clearly state the outlets are rated at 9 amps this is 11.7 so almost 12 amps that's going way over uh, the rating. So I'm going to go ahead and put this heater on the fan and then I'm going to uh, use the kilowatt meter and test just how much power it's really drawing. Okay, so I've got the heater on there. Got the kilowatt meter set up. We're testing on 122 volts. I'm going to switch this to amps and I'm going to turn just the fan on. Uh, I'll cycle through the three speeds. This will be low. One, uh, Point eight seven looks like it's going to be worth study. Medium one fifteen, one point thirteen, and then high is two point two. Now, just because it's piquing my curiosity, I'm going to actually take the heater off of here, and we're going to test the fan again. All right, heater's detached. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and test this again. I'll start off on low. Garnet. Okay, I'm not sure uh, at which point that cut off, so we'll start again. Uh, I just took the heater attachment off the fan, and we're gonna we're gonna test the power draw without the heater on. This is low. As you can possibly hear, the fan sounds much better this way. That's 0.98 amps. Medium 1.19, and high is 1. Oh, 2.14. So I don't recall what the uh, measurements were beforehand, so you'll have to go back and watch in the video um, to see what they were. So I'm going to go ahead and put the heater back on now, and then we'll test with the heater. Alright, heater is on, and uh, so I'm going to switch the fan on on uh, low for now, just because it's about 1 amp, I think. Yeah, that makes it easy. And 0.84, so actually that's less than what it was drawing when uh, the heater was off. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to do heater on. Let's see how much it, it goes up. Heater on. 1.95, That's going up pretty slowly. 11. So at this point we've already exceeded the maximum draw on the outlets because with the fan running on low 
and it's Roger Speed by Tenny. I'm sort of loving from 24 now. Um, and that's over, over the draw. It's still climbing. I'm going to throw the fan speed up to high. That's pulling 12.4 amps. It's a lot of power. So at this point, let's say that's drawing 2.2 amps. The highest it should be drawing is like 11.2 or up to 12.5. So it's a fair bit over. Drop back down to low, and uh, we're at 11.7. Eleven point six seven heater off, and it goes back down to point eight heater on. Eleven point five. So the heater is actually running under spec quite a bit because the heater is rated for eleven point seven amps, and the whole thing winds up to not points eleven point seven. All right, let's test the heater uh, separately from the fan. The heater off, I want that cool, and I'm gonna plug into the fan. Okay, here we go, so we got, this is just on the heater now. Switch this over to amps. Um, actually, how am I gonna, I gotta put this on the floor with this angle now. Put it over here. Okay, here we go. That'll work. I can't see the thing though. Okay. I'm going to set this up on low. And heater on. Oh, we're still good so far. And we're over. So that's right at 11.7, and we're at 10.7, so we're a whole amp below. I'm going to say it's steady at 10.9, so it's steady at about 11 amps, uh, which isn't as much as I as it's rated at, um, but even so, you want 11 amps on a 9-amp uh, outlet is uh, definitely over. So that would certainly explain why uh, the thing is uh, tripping over the outlets. So that is a very, very dumb design. Um, and I don't know, maybe that's just with this particular heater. I don't think this is a genuine blue blower built heater. This is a, uh, I don't know where this one came from. This is a, uh, no, no, I think actually it is a jazz blue blower. I don't know. Either way, um, definitely a dumb design on that thing. So that confirms my suspicions. The heater is drawing way more than the fan can handle, and it's even rated at that. So I don't know what what's going on there. Anyways, hopefully somebody found it interesting. Thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos out.